is the one I lose a lot of sleep over, uh, <laughs> thinking about could, why didn't we, could we have seen and prevented what happened in South Sudan. First of all, there was an enormous investment in South Sudan uh, in, setting, in helping them set up government structures, getting an election, setting up an administration, uh, setting up a government. Much of our attention from 2011, 2013, was on helping them resolve the conflict with Sudan, which continued after independence and threatened war along the border and diverted their attention from their domestic requirements. We saw the political crisis coming. They would, we were discussing it with them. We knew Riek Machar was making that bid for the presidency well in advance. And we said, this is an issue the political party needs to address. But our efforts to help them strengthen the political party were rebuffed, even though they said we had a team out there from the International Republican Institute they never used. And basically, you had a government that was more a liberation army than a political. And when the crisis came, President Kiir dismissed the party and tried to deal with it militarily. I think there perhaps more we should have done and could have done. I was very critical of South Sudan on a number of occasions, particularly their, the leadership's preoccupation with the issues to, with the North relative to the needs of their own people. And that came up over and over again. But I also think we failed in another respect, and it had to do with a lot of differences and problems within our government as well. We didn't have a strong military-to-military -military relationship that allowed us to see that that army was ready to fracture. Because if the army hadn't fractured, you wouldn't have what you have today. And we should have seen that coming. Uh, so there are a lot of things we could have done and, 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 and look back on it. And I think, and this is a general long-term proposition, we spend a lot of time thinking about civil society. We don't think enough about how you build political democratic movements. Not civil society goes out in the streets or talks or writes papers, but wins elections and are committed to democracy. And that the SPLM wasn't. Thank you.